Um, what was that watching from the sidelines on the weekend? Yeah, it was, uh, geez, there were some big boys. It was um, a physical old game. They really um, got stuck into the fellas. But, uh, yeah, it can be a little bit frustrating not being able to do anything about it. But um, good to see a few guys get opportunities and, and uh, play well. What impressed you from Fiji? Oh, certainly their, their intent. And, that, you know, they, they weren't afraid. They were uh, willing to throw everything at us. And, um, yeah, you can't fault, I guess, the athleticism from them as well. Like, you know, you kind of hear hear about it and it's not until you see it in the flesh that uh, you realise how athletic those guys are. So, um, yeah, we've got our work cut out for us again this weekend. Have you ever played in a game where a hooker scored four tries? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. And we've been hearing it from them all week too, by the way. Um, but I reckon my grandma could have... Um, Rolled over those ones at the back of the mall, so <laughs> can't take too much. At least he got one that was like uh, he had to do a bit of work for. But um, nah, I've never played in a game where a, a hooker scored four. But um, nah, in all seriousness, buddy, um, stoked for Colsey. He's a, he's a great man, a fellow that I really enjoy being around. So couldn't happen to a better bloke. I guess now is there sort of an appetite to play Fiji a bit more regularly, maybe in a rugby championship type setting? Oh, look, that's well above my pay grade. <laughs> yeah, I can't really comment too much on that. I mean. I, Clearly, though, um, they've taken massive steps forward in the, in the last few years, and um, many Fijians playing all around the world uh, in top teams and um, being some of the top players in those sides. So they've clearly got quality, and um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say no to uh, playing a team of quality like that every year. Um, did you watch the Euros by any chance this morning? Yeah, we did. Yep, yep, we did. I, I'm, to be honest, I don't really like soccer, but. Um, uh, I did have to tune in for this one. We were watching it at the, at the gym on our phones and watching the um, penalty shootout. And um, there's a few groans and a few roars. So, um, yeah, a few, few boys get stuck into it, but not as much. Uh, I certainly don't. And mm. just lastly, for me, um, your role in the team at the moment. So, do you feel sort of like maybe a bit of a leadership role coming on for you? You're a bit more of a regular now in the team. Um, Oh, look, I suppose as a half bet you kind of have to lead a little bit anyway. Um, I certainly feel a lot more confident um, uh, in that space now, particularly after having a, a year or so uh, in leadership roles at, at the Chiefs. Um, but at the same time, like, the great thing about this team is that you can just do your job and um, there's some pretty good leaders here as it is. So, look, I'll chip in when, when I feel like it's, uh, when it's needed and I feel like I've got something uh, worth saying. Um, but quite often those guys kind of nail it most of the time, so, yeah. Does, does your approach change much at all from that leadership aspect with the Chiefs into here? Or is it the uh, sort of business for you? Oh, it probably does change a little bit. Obviously, um, I have to take on a lot more um, at the Chiefs in terms of huddles and, and organising, you know, doing a lot more meetings, leadership meetings and that sort of stuff um, there, having a... Uh, and not as much here, but like I said, like we've got great leaders who uh, nail a lot of points um, in, in huddles and in meetings and stuff, but um, so when I feel like I've got something worth saying or if, um, if I see something that p potentially someone's missed, then I'll, I'll speak up and say that. So. Yeah. What's it like having uh, Finlay in as well and <laughs> watching what he's been doing? That's great. Um, I was devastated when we lost uh, Red a, a few years ago when he, he moved to the Hurricanes from here. He's a great team man and uh, one of my, uh, you know, he's a teammate that I've really enjoyed uh, having around. Um, so it's nice to have him back in. But uh, no, he's a great lad. Um, he's playing with some fantastic footy as well. It's um, yeah, so it's uh, it's been cool having him having him in here. What stood out about him, um, you know, in terms of being a teammate and things like that, and what have you sort of <laughs> noticed about him, um, you know, in his game moving as well? Oh, it's his off, it's his off field stuff for, for me. Like, um, yeah, he doesn't doesn't mind a beer, and um, neither do I. So we we've had a couple of a, a, a good uh, good times together in that, in that regard. But um, you know, he's just he's got a good sense of humour. He's great to have around. He's um, he's a great lad. But I suppose on the field. Um, you know, he's taken his attacking game to a new level. Like I think, in previous years, some sometimes his uh, skill set has probably been inconsistent, but he's incredibly consistent at it now. And um, some of his defensive work rate is uh, is top notch. Like um, some of the hits he put on those Tongan boys in that first week was uh, pretty impressive. So um, yeah, he can certainly um, throw it down. 
And of course, he likes the beer. He was in the um, pub when he got the call. Yeah, exactly. It, it couldn't have worked out. Any, I wasn't surprised in the slightest that that's where he was. So celebrating that Blues win, of course. So um, yeah, it was very, very appropriate. It was a like having that competition with him now, though, because you sort of got Aaron and then with TJ not there. You've got yep. you know him and yourself. Is it? Um, Bit of friendly banter, um, you get quite competitive. Or? Oh well, you get competitive, you know, wherever you go. But I suppose um, I can't focus on what, who, him or another guy is doing. I can only really focus on myself. And um, look, I'll of course support uh, all our nines. Like we've got, a, we've all got pretty good relationships here. So I'll support them one hundred percent, and then focus on myself so that I can play well. What, um, what was that injury you suffered? Um, you know, Mount Smart. How'd you come up? <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't actually. I didn't suffer an injury. Um, I got a stray boot to the straight to the ribs, yeah. and um, it winded me like the one of the worst I've ever had. So I think I might be the first All Black to have been um, taken off through a winding, which is quite <laughs> embarrassing. But um, yeah, I got up eventually and was willing to play on, but um, falls in the crew dragged me. So. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Was it with stray boots? Bowden uh, managed yeah. to get one too, and that didn't look too good. How's his face going? Yeah, uh, he won't be doing any promotional work for the <laughs> next little bit. I, I, I don't think uh, Tudor or Adidas or anything will be wanting him for any ads anytime soon. But um, yeah, it's uh, a bit of a humbling experience for old Bodie, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of talk after the Tonga game. How, how pleasing was it to have a match of that intensity against Fiji? a week after for you from your perspective? Oh, I think it's it's incredibly important, like um, with all due respect to Tonga, like sort of only so much you can get um, get out of games like that and um, this was a true test, like that's the sort of intensity and physicality that we expect moving forward and um, it's exactly what we wanted, so yeah, it's right where we need to be. To the, to the boys that they've got there? Um, oh. I don't know, I'll let you guys speculate over that. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I think a lot of the group have played a, f a few tests now, so um, they know what's required at test level, yeah. Big um, sort of focus on that breakdown work during this week, is it? And, you know, getting a bit more physical, that I might not be your specific department. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a real expert in this um, <laughs> department, Aaron. Thanks for asking that question. Um, oh, look... We can talk to the cows coming out about, about being more physical, but you've also got to be able to win races. So I think you, not giving guys chances to, to get in over the ball is, is just as crucial as flying in with a bit of intent. So um, it's about being smart and maybe getting in there a little bit quicker um, before those sort of pictures unfold. And you're sort of excited about the prospect of Fijian team and super, um, you know, if it does transpire yep. on what you saw on Saturday? Yeah, for sure. I think um, that'd be great addition to the, the Super Rugby comp. Obviously, they did pretty well in the Aussie um, equivalent of the NPC for a couple of years, and um, the Chiefs, we've played a couple of games over in Fiji, and the um, reception we got over there was unreal. And um, In fact, probably my greatest, uh, one of the greatest Super Rugby games I've been a part of against the Crusaders a couple of years ago was in Fiji, so I know how much their people get in behind it, and they love they love their footy. Geez, they were there like a couple of hours before kickoff singing and stuff. It was unreal, so yeah, that'd be great. Because you've got a couple of the Tom and boys, of course, in your Chiefs squad as well. Yep. Is that something that they ever talk about with you guys in camp sort of thing? Or just about obviously what it means for them to represent Karatahi? Uh, well, I can't really remember. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're, uh, they're we obviously put in our group chat that we're bloody stoked for them to um, get their first run, particularly Billy. He's, um, he got brought in for, for us uh, during the year and played really well and deserved his chance. And... Um, yeah, he was incredibly proud and so he should have been and um, we all were for him as well.